<laughs> Music. Da, 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 da. That's a mighty fine sword fighting technique you've got there. Chop. Slash. <laughs> yeah, that, that should kill and kill somebody. Damn. They need a lot of work. A lot of work. Okay. Let's go and report in. And say that we've done our chores. Hello. Got the soldiers here. As I'm sure you are all aware, the princess was researching the Guardian on Highwind Island. Who is he? <laughs> Proud, doddering old blowhard. Oh, Kosel likes him. Kosel don't like anybody, though. Although she was unable to ascertain the method by which sentinels are constructed, the research did uncover the sentinel's weak spot. She determined that you can tickle it. As with the guard, oh. <laughs> have been implanted with comment. I think it'd better if you could just tickle it. You know what I mean? Like, wouldn't it be good? Like, you've got a massive monster that can tear away loads of people if you get to its ribs and get tickle, tickle, tickle. It just kind of falls on the floor laughing. Common That'd be so funny. Come on, though. Oh dear. Destroy its comment. And the sentinel's life support functions will cease. Its capabilities will then rapidly decline, and eventually it will die. Right. Until now, the southern forces have been hard pressed. Much more effective campaigns should now be possible. This is entirely thanks to the princess's valiant efforts. She did do well, yes. It's been one for oh, hello, Metal Face. For far too long. It's nice to hear some good news. <laughs> Is it now? Must be able to talk or see with that metal plate over your head. Even so, will there be a dramatic turn in the tide of battle for the better just because we've uncovered their weak spot? I do not know, sir, officer. You can be sure that the Northern forces are well aware that commons are the Sentinel's weak spots and have installed devices to protect them. Yes. Nevertheless, well said, I believe there's a difference between fighting a battle while knowing the enemy's weakness and while not knowing. Right. I agree. Just getting comfy. You're right. Right you are, princess. Oh, he's here. I didn't even see him. He wasn't even talking. However, I can count on the fingers of one hand the number of times that the counter sentinel unit that was founded on your proposal has done any proper fighting. Do you know, I'm going to slap him already. I don't like him. Is that him, that metal plate over his face? Oh, no, he didn't. It's somebody else, this one. It's another officer. Uh, shoot your face before I pull your beard off and shove it up my nose. It has been defeated by events beyond its control on countless occasions. Early on, we won by dint of sheer numbers, but we have now lost nearly half of those forces. Perhaps we would be better served by taking this opportunity to develop weapons capable of directly attacking the Sentinel's command. Right, but well, I can see a flaw in that. There's not a human alive that cannot help but feel an instinctive terror when they are confronted by a sentinel. It's for that reason that we found ourselves so hard-pressed. However, my unit has been constantly training, learning ways to suppress that fear. Now that we have learned their weakness, this is the perfect chance to put my unit's <laughs> abilities to the test. I think best way to just not feel fear is just run away and then when you're miles away then you don't have to feel fear there you Perhaps, go that's my way to date have been massive. shut up meaning no offense but it seems to me that your unit is being maintained solely out of egotism on your part princess 
Why do people say that? No offence. That's like saying to somebody, no offence, but you're a fat bitch. And then it's like, well, of course you're going to take offence to it because you just called me a name. So basically he's saying that your ego's gaining weight, princess, but no offence. She had to stab him in the throat with a table. Oh, darts. Juto starting now. Darts. We've got darts with a question mark. Watch it, Gramps. Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> yeah, you don't really get Crossell doing darts. Crossell, keep quiet. No, well, let him go. Let him go for it. Oh, more darts. Even more than Juto's darts. The audience will refrain from further outbursts. I cannot allow this statement to go unanswered. Shut your mouth, yo fart. So let me get this right. He could speak to Princess I once and call her egotistical, but just because her men tried to stick up for her, you're going to step forward, you old diddering fart with your bloody walking stick, and start going, You should say anything! Get Not lost. at all. Please, continue. In that case, I will speak frankly. Oh yeah, you're speaking frankly because you know everybody's on your side and protecting you. Wait till you're outside. I'm going to pull your arse hair clean over your head. To all appearances, <laughs> your unit no longer serves any worthwhile purpose. Your face doesn't serve a worthwhile purpose, but we don't get rid of it, do we? Which means that we should rather develop anti-sentinel weaponry. What about anti-you weaponry? As in we just stab you in the head. I had proposed as much before this incident, but it was rejected on the rationale that your counter-sentinel unit was being formed. But if you decide to develop weapons, it will cost a great deal of time and money and manpower. We have none to spare. Oh, Princess. Many lives are being lost due to your ego. And my, my sickness is swelling due to your bad breath. Shut your mouth. Are you saying that time and money mean more to you than their lives? She's just said manpower as well. Penis sniffer, you're doing my head. He's doing my head. Oh, that's it. Look at her. Oh, yeah, we're getting exclamation marks now. That does it. Well said, Crowsell. Burn his bollocks. Have you people ever set foot on a battlefield? He ain't, no. He just likes to wear his fancy armour. Who might you be? The person who's going to punch you in the nose. This is Juto. He was assigned to the counter sentinel unit the other day. The young man they say defeated the Guardian. Not to say I did. Guardian? As I understand it, the Guardian on Highwind Island was already in a weakened state. Oh, so you'd have beat him, would you? We have fancy metal armor. This man could be you would have wanted to get a scratch on it. Over a trivial matter. Oh, I'm going to kick his face in. I hope for your sake this man isn't a Northern Forces spy. I want to take him on. A in trivial a fight. matter? You people do nothing but sit here in comfort and hold meetings. Oh, you'd go that far, eh? In that case. Yep. Let's see what you can do. Defeat a sentinel for us. Okay, bring it on. <coughs> What's the matter? Where did the fire in your belly go? No, it don't matter. I'll do one. Stop this. Juto is... Sure, you got it. I'll take out a sentinel for you. Well done, Juto. Let's do this. Tell me where he is. I won't pull its nose. Very well. If you should defeat a sentinel in the upcoming battle, I will admit to being rude and will apologize. How about you admit to being rude either way because I'll poke your eyes out if you don't. Now, now, gentlemen, let's all remain calm. Let's let cooler heads prevail. The upcoming battle in Old Fox Canyon is even more crucial than usual. As we are all painfully aware, this is an all or nothing situation for our army. I want okay, you all to that. go into this battle thinking of it as our final conflict. <laughs> okay. This time, let us breach the gate of Wailing 
and slay the enemy general, Sion Regral. If everybody keeps pooing the pants over this Sion Regral, you went too far in there. Argo, shut your mouth, right? I'm tired of you. Keep trying to tell me I've gone too far. What? You're saying what they did back there was right? Zephy was the one who let you join. When you speak out like that, it puts her position at risk. I didn't mean to. They were going to close. They tried to close her down anyway. Her position is at risk Why all not? the time. It's like a breath of fresh air to me. <laughs> got the old crow cell. Finally, I got some respect off him. A huh? dots. You know, I had you pegged as thick-headed, but you can be pretty sharp sometimes. Oh, you see, he likes me now, just because I spoke what? out. You know, I've never liked General Headquarters either. They do nothing but talk, and never set foot on a battlefield. Crosell. Oh, stop it, Zephy. But they got under your collar too, didn't they, Princess? Face it, those guys always ignore us. Yes, but there are some things you shouldn't say out loud. All right. The same goes for you, Juto. Do you have any idea how rude it was to do what you did in the general headquarters council chamber? Do you real how? I do you realize how much I really don't care, Zephy? And we'll go back in there and do it again anytime you wish. This is Abazet. You're not on High Wind Island anymore. No, because if we're on High Wind Island, I'll just throw a stick at them. But, but wait just a minute. They were the ones who were trying to pick up. Are you talking back to your superior officer? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, I'm my, sorry. My apologies, Princess. And one more thing. If you ever take the words out of my mouth again, you'll regret it. Well, if I take the tongue out of your mouth, then you can't do the words yourself. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. All right, everyone. I'm sure by now you've all figured out what the General Headquarters staff have in mind. Yes, they're trying to work out how to tie their shoelaces, because that's about as clever as they are. During this operation, let's force them to acknowledge our value, whether they want to or not. I want to beat a sentinel. If they decide to put everything they've got into weapons development, it will cost additional funds, time, and lots of people. The war is going badly enough as it is. This will cause innocent people to suffer even more than they are right now. Considering how loudly you spoke up in there, I take it that you're ready and willing to fight, Juto? Hell yes. Of you course. bet. Let's give it our best, everyone. Come on, okay. we'll win the battle at Old Fox Canyon. Pack your gear like you mean it. <laughs> In the gate of wailing. Good for you. <laughs> we have to avenge Kaito. I'm gonna say she will get all like morale speak there, and it was just like no, no. Pack your kit like you mean it. <laughs> Juto, this will be your first time in a large scale operation, so don't try anything crazy. I, I won't die, no matter what. Not until I settle things with Elgar. Okay, right. let's go. That's the spirit. Our unit's directive has always been absolutely do not die. Remember that. <laughs> unless, unless you get a sword chopping your face off, then you're allowed to think about dying. And if something cuts your heart out at the same time, you can even consider letting it go then and just being dead. Let's but not unless you really have to. Let's <laughs> teabag them. Yes. She was oh, in a weird else. mood. She'd never do anything to expose her weakness to others. I had begun to admire her for that. 